In a world where smartphones seamlessly connect us with a tap, it's hard to imagine a time when our communication was tethered to rotary telephones, wired landlines, and the humble dumb phone. Picture the nostalgia of winding a rotary dial, the click-clack of physical buttons on a landline, or the satisfying snap of flipping open a clamshell phone. As we journey back to the 2000s, we find ourselves at the crossroads of technology, where these once ubiquitous gadgets ruled the scene. From the simplicity of a dial tone to the anticipation of snake-embossed monophonic ringtones, these devices were the architects of our digital evolution. So fasten your seatbelts as we dive into the bygone era of gadgets that once held the pulse of our communication, now resting in the archives of technological nostalgia. But before we move further, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss a new video. Number 1 in our list are pagers and beepers. In the technological tapestry of the 1950s, the humble pager quietly stitched itself into existence, patiently biding its time until the grand crescendo of popularity struck in the 1980s. Originally crafted for one-way communication, these unassuming devices became the lifeline for emergency services, physicians, and safety personnel, those whose presence was paramount even when miles away from the familiar hum of a landline telephone. As the dawn of the 2000s ushered in the era of smartphones, pagers and beepers faced an inevitable decline. Yet, defying the digital wave, their resilience, unmatched durability, and expansive coverage allowed them to linger in service for several more years. An emblematic tale is that of Canada, where astonishingly, $18.5 million still echoed through the airwaves for pager services in 2013 a testament to the enduring legacy of a device that once held a thread of urgent communication in its grasp. In the grand symphony of technological evolution, the wired telephone, a relic stretching its tendrils back to 1844, now faces the shadow of obsolescence, overshadowed by the omnipresent computer we carry snugly in our pockets. Among its historical variations, the rotary dial telephone, a marvel of its era, demanded users to elegantly pirouette the dial for each digit, orchestrating a unique tactile ballot for every call. However, the sepia tone days of rotary phones are now relegated to the realm of nostalgia, perhaps resurfacing as quaint novelties. The wired landlines trailing behind in this technological ballet are waltzing towards their own curtain call. Segwaying to the next gadget, we encounter laser discs. Emerging as a cult phenomenon, laser discs capture the hearts of connoisseurs and cinephiles alike. Debuting in 1978 as the trailblazer of optical video storage, LaserDisc promised unparalleled video quality, a visual feast for those who craved cinematic perfection. However, its journey to mainstream stardom was thwarted by the steep price tag of its players, relegating it to the fringes of enthusiast circles. While LaserDisc may not have graced every living room, its legacy echoes through the halls of innovation. The format, a pioneer in its own right, laid the groundwork for future milestones like compact discs, DVDs, and the cinematic marvel that is Blu-ray. Quietly bowing out in 2001 with its final video titles, Laserdisc's swan song was sung to the tune of 16.8 million players sold worldwide. In the grand tapestry of digital evolution, the DVD stands as a collaborative magnum opus crafted by technological behemoths Panasonic, Philips, Sony, and Toshiba. Transforming into a versatile medium, it seamlessly embraced cinematic wonders, computer files, and software. Symbolic of its era, the DVD wasn't just a storage solution. It epitomized technological prowess, offering expansive capacity and the whispered promise of a century-long legacy. Yes, as the internet hurtles forward, shattering speed barriers and superior formats like Blu-ray and the mesmerizing 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray claim their thrones, the DVD stands at the precipice of obsolescence. The virtues that once defined its reign grapple with the surge of streaming technology. Meanwhile, the ill-fated HD DVD, a 1080p-capable rival to Blu-ray, mirrors the fate of the legendary LaserDisc, never truly soaring into the technological stratosphere. Moving on to this next one might evoke some of the fondest memories for many of you, Game Boy and Game Gear. In 1989, Nintendo unveiled a gaming legend that would resonate as a cherished memory for many, the Game Boy. A pocket-sized powerhouse featuring a monochrome green and black screen and a sleek, straightforward design, it swiftly dominated the gaming market. The allure of blockbuster titles like Tetris propelled the Game Boy to unprecedented heights, boasting over a million units sold in its debut year alone. 
Shortly thereafter, Sega entered the arena with a Game Gear, a vibrant color-rich competitor to the Game Boy. Despite a robust game catalog inherited from the Sega Master System, the Game Gear found itself grappling with the Game Boy's supremacy, mainly due to a significant drawback – poor battery life. Both devices, once titans of the handheld gaming realm, have gracefully yielded to newer technologies. Now, one more gadget that could draw your attention, and that is the Nintendo N64. Before and after the N64, a myriad of gaming consoles graced the stage, yet none quite capture the essence of gaming defiance like the iconic machine. The N64, released in 1996, boldly stood as Nintendo's final venture into the realm of stubborn cartridge-based consoles. Far beyond a mere gaming relic, the N64 is a cherished chapter in the collective memory of gamers. Its monumental titles, including the revolutionary Super Mario 64, the pulse-quickening GoldenEye 007, and the enchanting odyssey of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, immortalize the N64 as a symbol of gaming excellence. It's not just a console, it's a nostalgic pilgrimage through the pixels and polygons of a bygone era where cartridges held the magic that shaped virtual worlds. After this, we have filmed cameras in which we captured our childhood. The traditional film camera, once a ubiquitous tool capturing moments in time, has gracefully yielded its throne to the relentless march of the digital age. The era of relying on reels of film and making trips to local shops for processing has dissipated into memory thanks to the triumphant arrival of digital cameras, SD cards, and the prowess of modern computing system. Now we have an interesting item. Do you remember Polaroid cameras which allowed people to see the photos they took seconds after snapping them without having to wait for someone else to develop them? In the mid-1960s, Polaroid cameras debuted as a technological marvel, offering the enchantment of instant gratification. For years, Polaroid instant cameras reigned as a splendidly expensive yet convenient marvel in the world of photography. However, the tides of innovation have shifted in recent years. The ascent of digital cameras and smartphone photography has relegated Polaroid's once revolutionary technology to the realm of unnecessary indulgence. Now we have calculators. Our previous generation is more familiar with them, and we too are familiar with them as we use them in our schools and colleges. In a world where calculator apps grace the screens of smartphones and tablets and seamlessly integrate with computers and laptops, the standalone calculators of yesteryear find themselves at the crossroads of obsolescence. The last gadget of today's video is the cathode ray tube television. The scientific groundwork for cathode ray tube or CRT televisions traces its roots to 1869, yet it wasn't until the mid-1920s that this transformative technology found its tangible expression in the form of television sets. These bulky marvels stood as a paragon of televisual innovation for decades, dominating living rooms until the relentless surge of technological progress birthed LCD and plasma flat-screen televisions rendering CRT sets obsolete around 2007. As we bid adieu to icons like Game Boy, Polaroid cameras, and the CRT television, their stories become echoes of a bygone era. Relics of nostalgia, they've played their part in the grand symphony of technological progress. If you enjoy this trip down memory lane, hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more captivating tales of innovation.